Well, good morning, everybody. Now, everybody remembers the house they grew up in. And for nearly 30 years, the family of faith that we call Spirit of God Fellowship has called this structure its home. But before that, in 1972, our church began in the basement of John and Barbara Sullivan's house here in South Holland, and that's commemorated in the picture featured in our new display. When there, are, when there were so many parked cars on the cul-de-sac of Kimbark Avenue during prayer meetings at Sullivan's house that the fire chief feared a fire truck couldn't get through, the village offered us the use of the American Legion Hall. It was only available on Wednesday nights, so that's how that tradition got started, and we moved there in 1974. In 1980, we moved to Building 19 at South Suburban College and then to the gym at MacArthur School in 1983. Our vision for the kingdom broadened in 1986 when we took over the oversight of Calvary Academy and began meeting in that school's gymnasium on this campus. As God continued to refine our vision, it became apparent that we needed a freestanding structure for our church. We broke ground on this site in 1991. Dr. Sullivan's vision for this building paralleled his vision for our church that Spirit of God Fellowship and the communities it served were one and the same, so this building was designed as a multi-purpose facility. Indeed, the very first event in this building was not a church service, but our church's annual New Year's Eve celebration. Just think of all the diverse events that have happened here over the years, all the incredible worship experiences, the manifestations of the power and majesty, as well as the gentleness and the intimacy of God the incredible preachers and teachers that have stood here on this platform, the awesome concerts that have had, what we've had here, ranging from nationally renowned artists to our own worship team, even the Calvary Academy School Band, the amazing theatrical productions, the banquets and meetings held here for the Village, the Heritage Party, Calvary Academy, Restoration Ministries, the Public School Districts, the Ministerial Association, and on and on, so many others, all the weddings, all the receptions, all the graduation parties, anniversary celebrations, family gatherings. And like any family, we've also experienced sadness and loss together here, the bittersweet gatherings we would have when someone was moving away, and every so often, a funeral. But we experienced all these things in this building, in this house, together, as a community, as a family. And as our church experienced a time of great transition in recent years, we felt this old building needed a transition as well. So you see the amazing makeover, the redevelopment and reconstruction that's taken place here. And amidst all these transitions and changes, remembering where we've come from and how far we've come, we felt it appropriate to rededicate this house in the spirit of Hebrews 13.7 that Vic Davis shared about yesterday. Remember your leaders who spoke the word of God to you consider the outcome of their way of life, and imitate their faith. We therefore rededicate this building to the purposes and vision that the Lord, through John and Barbara Sullivan, established for our church. Matthew is going to pray a prayer. Barbara is going to say a word. We've rededicated the building, but we had to name it something. You saw it as you walked in. I hope you take a look at the honor wall that will forever honor John and Barb and family and people from the past. Just want to give you a glimpse, if you don't mind. We thought about naming it. Obviously, the Dr. John F. Sullivan Worship Center, Fellowship Center, we had all kinds of different things in back of Dr. John F. Sullivan. Then we thought, no, this one right here. <laughs> they were together, partners, every step of the way. So then we said, no, right? Yeah, go ahead, absolutely.
And then we thought, no, let's add Barb. Dr. John and Barb Sullivan Fellowship Center, Worship Center. It was all done. Barb, we had your name in there. And literally, at the midnight hour, there was talk of, wait a minute, this wasn't Don and Barb. This was a family affair. These kids, John, Shannon, Tom, and Kelly, lent their parents to us forever, right? On behalf of my mom and my siblings, I just want to thank you for that honor. But um, Brian said we lent our parents to you, but kind of the other side of that coin is, is we got a much bigger family out of it too. So it really was an amazing experience growing up as a Sullivan. And I'm a legacy of my mom and dad's ministry, as are my siblings, but really all of you are too, right? Because this room wouldn't be filled if they hadn't followed God's plan for their lives and were obedient each step of the way. So the, the building is fantastic. And it's the names have changed, the faces have changed. If you look at that old photo, you know, I can only recognize probably a dozen people, and probably most of you don't recognize hardly anyone. But the ministry has continued because God's purpose keeps going forward. And thanks to my parents being obedient and then sharing themselves with all of you, that's why we're here. So let me introduce the original church mom, Barbara <laughs> Sullivan. <laughs> Thank you so much. It's been an honor to be chosen by God to lead his people. It's such an honor. It's not heavy. It's the lightness of the Holy Spirit brings you through. There were hard times. There were difficult times. But, you know, God was always there. And whatever you're going through, the hard times, the bitter times, you know what? God is there. He has not forgotten you. And he will bring you through. But you got to hang on. You've got to hang on. When he moves, move with him. Hang on. Even if it's not where you want to go, hang on. <laughs> well, Barb just preached my message. <laughs> Matthew's going to pray an official prayer. I, I just want to say this. Uh, the reason we named this the Sullivan Fellowship Center, first of all, John was all about fellowship. That's what he wanted this place to be. But John Jr., Dr. John Jr. over here, he continues the legacy. He has supported this ministry financially over the years, and now he has agreed to become a part of a committee that his dad started, a very important committee called the Men of Issachar. So John Jr. continues that legacy. Shannon, second born, I'm going in order here. <laughs> Shannon, she has been a part and has continued the legacy of John Sullivan on, on the Restoration Ministries Board. She's a great board member. We're so glad to have her there. Now, Tom Sullivan, over 30 years ago, started an institution that continues to this day. Kids Church. Next week, yep. Next week we have Kids Church. It's a service designed for kids. It's a great service. It continues, Tom, over 30 years later. Thank you very much for that. And then, dear Kelly, our servant's servant. She continues to serve uh, alongside her husband at 
the PADS Homeless Ministry. She serves at our banquet. She serves at our retreat. She serves everywhere. A quiet servant continuing what John was, a quiet servant. Kelly, thank you so much. So we're going to pray for this building, for God's, uh, his plans for this building. In Deuteronomy 20, verse 5, it says, Then the officers shall speak to the people, saying, Is there any man who has built a new house and has not dedicated it? Let him go back to his house, lest he die in the battle and another man dedicate it. And so there was this attitude that your whole life, your house, and everything in it, and every person associated with it, was to be set apart for God's usefulness, for God's purposes. And that's what we want. We want the purposes of God to continue to go on in this refurbished building, this new building, and uh, just the new leadership and the, the new direction that God has put on us. So, uh, you know, stretch your hands out towards the Sullivan family. They're representatives of what God has done for us, his, his faithfulness throughout all the years. Father, we bless what you are blessing. We bless, first and foremost, the Sullivan family because you have blessed them, Father. We agree with you. God, that the gospel is going to still be the primary instrument of life and health and peace for their family, for them, for their children now, and for their, their coming grandchildren, great-grandchildren. We pray that every generation would be affected by the good news of Jesus Christ. And Father, that same good news, we proclaim that it will be first and foremost in this new building that you have given us. We dedicate it to you. We set it aside for your purposes. We say that your glory will be seen and heard in this place. So Father, let it just flow. Let the move of the Holy Spirit just flow in this place. Open doors for your Holy Spirit. Open doors for your Holy Spirit, Father. Let the doors be open, the church doors be open for your Holy Spirit to flow in this place. We declare healing in this place, deliverance in this place, salvation in this place, new life in this place, open eyes in this place, revelation in this place. We declare all that you are and all that you want to be for us in this place we thank you we love you we're honored we're humbled that you're with us in this journey and we thank you for this new building in jesus name amen